Hi everyone. Okay, I'm back again with another video, and like I said, on the or just what the title said, I finally found my first bug, and it is on Sinak. Okay, so without further ado, oh by the way, as you can see on my screen, I am on Twitter, and if you want, you can follow me. If you don't want, please follow me. So. I'm going to show you the email that I received from Sinak and it's stating that CSR app on change username was accepted. As a result, you've earned $205. And this is my first bounty also. And I received it last June 11, 2020 and I haven't made a video about it. Uh, because I'm currently busy taking and studying for the CH by that time and I also did some hunting on the pa on the past days so I decided not to make a video about it and since I have a problem of finding a bug today I opted to make a quick video or I don't know it will be a quick video of this of my first bug so yes since I was able to achieve my first bug uh, I was wondering what would be my next goal after this since I've already acquired my first bug and my first bounty I think uh, my next goal would be to be able to earn at least 1000 USD for my bounty and also oh and it's on one on the Sinak platform only in addition i have also created an account on hacker one i just created it now so oh the hacker one main is under or currently undergoing maintenance but you may see my hacker one account as a smallware also it has no bug found yet since I just created it today and I'm planning to do bug hunting on HackerOne also uh, if you watch my previous video I op I said there that I prefer Synac to hack because I work hard for it in order to be, in, be able to be part of the Synac Red team and then the reason I wanted to try Hacker One is having two platform to work on. I believe can help me be better in being a bug bounty hunter and also increases my chance of finding a bug. Hopefully, I make a decision about that correctly. And then, so. I also mentioned on the, my previous video that if I don't work hard on something, I tend to lose motivation. So you might be asking why go with Hacker One if that's my reason. Since I'm already part of Sinak and doing bug bounty on Sinak and Hacker One at the same time, uh, I think it would be fine and I won't lose motivation right away. Okay, and also I want you to, in to inform you that I am going to start studying also for the web application penetration testing extreme of the e-learn security. Uh, the reason for this is I want to enhance my knowledge with web, web application pen testing and I realized that while doing bug hunting I don't want to give finding the low hanging fruit i want to expand my knowledge in order for me to find the great bug and what i'm going to do next is give you a quick info of what the of what bug i found if we go back you will see that my bug was a cross site request forgery so what is a cross site request forgery okay uh, according to Portswigger, 
Cross-site request forgery is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not intend they do not intend to perform. So what does it mean? Uh, basically, cross-site request forgery is uh, uh, an attacker changing the changing or making an action on behalf of their target. For example, just on my report, using the CSR attack, I was able to change the username of my target. Uh, the reason for this is the web application has this option to change their username. Using the CSR attack, I was able to change the username by providing the victim of a link or CSRF file that if they click to, the their username will be changed using the CSRF I created or crafted. Since I'm using the verb suit or verb suite pro from Words figure, they have this option wherein you can so for example this post account. Uh, they have this engagement tool generate CSR CSR app POC or proof of concept and then using this one you can create a CSR app file. Oh you might be asking how to prevent CSR app. Okay. In order to prevent CSR app one common way I was able to know is using a CSR app token. Make sure that you properly validate this CSR app token because the one I was able to find or the bug I, the bug I found is they they are using CSR app token but but they did not validate this CSR app token that's why my CSR app was able to work um, by the way uh, CSR app token is not that enough thing as a prevention for the CSR app the reason is some CSR app are, or some CSR app token can be bypassed by XSS I'm still not familiar or I'm, I have done it before but explaining it right now I think I won't be able to explain it since my knowledge about that attack or chaining attacks is still low or not that good and giving an advice might cause uh, misinformation or confusion for others so what I'm going I'm still doing is uh, for, for providing some at least a little tips about the bug I found and I will keep continuing doing this until I'll be at least good with the bugs I found hopefully so yeah that's it and as you can see uh, I was able to found my bug on Sinak they said I should have found the bug within 4 to 5 days and I was able to do so I think it's a good progress for me and hopefully I will continue to be expanding my knowledge and continue to be good in the future hopefully this is the start and the beginning of me finding uh, good bugs and finding a lot of bounty hopefully and I also realized that yeah, the bounty is that so hard. I thought it will be uneasy because I've been doing web application penetration testing and oh boy, hell, I was wrong. So that's it. Hopefully, I will say I will be able to find another bug within this month. And thank you. Bye bye.